What is demonetization? Seems like random videos are being rejected by the YouTube filter. And a demonetized video might still show up in the rankings, but no ads will play on it so the creator can't make any money and advertisers can't advertise. Will demonetization kill your channel? How can you avoid it? We're gonna look at three demonetized videos today and see if we can't find the pattern. We're gonna unlock demonetization today, guys. Now, for those of you guys that know, I'm in a, um, a couple different groups with Daryl Eves. Tell me if you guys can still get audio. All right, and I'm in a group with Daryl Eves, and this is what he had showed me to, uh, this week, is that Amazon, or, or the YouTube filter has cut, has filtered out his Amazon video. So if Daryl Eves is, is getting cut off here, I wondered to myself, you know, we gotta go check out what's going on. So what I did is I went and I watched Daryl Eves' video and I want to share it with you guys today. And you tell me, I want you guys to tell me why, if you have any reason at all to believe, why you think this video may have been demonetized. Let's take a look. Now, it's all about making money on YouTube, right? Well, kind of. I mean, if you don't make the money, then you can't do what you love, which is creating videos. And so money is a really big, important part of being a YouTube creator. Now, uh, quite a few uh, months. Okay, guys, so that was just 13 seconds. That was just 13 seconds of that video. But what did you notice, if anything? What did you guys notice about that video? I wanna go to some of your comments. Okay, we just played 13 seconds, uh, 13 seconds of it. I'm seeing some great questions from Desiree and Big Johnson. Uh, we are gonna cover that. What you may have noticed is that Daryl said the word money three different times. Uh, three different times in the first 13 seconds. Now I'm gonna post a link to that video on the replay by the time we're done with this live video. So uh, Dustin is saying sending people off YouTube to another site. Maybe that's why this got caught by the algorithm, by the filter. Um, Beanie Draws is saying it's probably demonetized because you're taking watch time and traffic away from YouTube. You know, it could be, guys. Here's what I think. I think that Daryl said the word money three times in the first 13 seconds. And what that's going to do is that's going to set off YouTube's kind of like, woo, woo, woo. And they're going to go, hey, this guy is trying to sell something in this video. And... If he's trying to sell something, then it's not a good fit for an advertiser. Imagine an advertiser that wants to sell, you know, a Wix website or GoDaddy web service, but they play that before a video that spends a whole bunch of time selling something else entirely. What if it's selling host gator services, right? Or what if it's selling like some other hosting or domain service? Um, you guys bring up some good points. And uh, Big Johnson is saying because he said Amazon. Uh, Creator Fundamentals, is that the uh, video where he mentions ammo? I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. If he said ammo in this, that could be a big point. Guys, I want you to pay attention to all these all these comments coming in because they're all wonderful. Linking out to other channels. Uh, he's promoting a competitor site. I personally believe it's because he said the word sell or, or he said like money. Three times in 13 seconds. And you know what else I believe, guys? Don't. Don't tell Daryl I told you this, but here's what I believe. I kind of think Daryl did it on purpose. I do. I kind of think he did it on purpose to see what he could get away with here and to see if it would get filtered. Now, that's just because I know I know Daryl. I don't know Daryl's a tester. So it's something I'd like to see. Um Mal TV says, I think they're securing income for top YouTubers and contracted content creators. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the demonetization thing has everything to do with political correctness. I think it has everything to do uh, with avoiding lawsuits. And uh, it's, you know, it's, it's just the culture that we're in. So I want to show you guys two more videos that got demonetized. And I want to get your feedback on them as well uh, because they're very... They're very revealing. So the second video I wanted to share with you 
is from Justin Brown. And I don't know if you guys know uh, Justin Brown, but let's take a look here. Okay, now the frame rate's going to be kind of bad on this video, but let's just kind of watch a little bit of it. And the camera settings without someone there to help you out behind the camera. So in this video, we're going to give you five ways that you can shoot awesome videos of yourself by yourself, including some awesome camera features that you should look out for and some simple workarounds if you don't have them. Now, here's what I'm going to say about this video, guys. As I watched this video almost in its entirety, it's an 8-minute, 37-second video. Very standard YouTube-type stuff. Really great content here. But let's take a look at, at some things here. Number one, um, he's got the, the word film yourself. Okay? And this could be read by a filter as, you know, adult content. You know, and in the beginning of the video, he says, film yourself by yourself. I don't know. That could be something. Let's let's take a look at some other stuff. Let's look at his description box. What do you guys notice about this description box? And I I heard a lot of you guys say this earlier. Michael Esquire is saying, I don't understand. Sometimes they make decisions without notice. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. He's saying it's all political. Yeah, there's there's some interesting things to notice about this. There's absolutely right. Now, what I'm noticing here, guys, in this description box is that there are tons of links. And a lot of them are links to, you know, product product pages. What you have here is in his tags as well, is you've got a video that's all about you know, the DSLR, the camera, the camera, camera, links to a camera site. Film yourself, camera, camera, camera. You know, I, I'm not sure, guys, but I think that YouTube might be reading this video, okay, because this video was tagged and demonetized when it first came out. Um, it, you know, I think that this algorithm, this AdSense algorithm for demonetization is actually combining a couple different things. I think they're combining... Uh, the title, I think they're combining the tags, I think they're looking at the description box to see where you're linking out to. O overall, he's got a great looking description here. I love the way it's all set up, but there's a lot of links there. And YouTube might be looking at that and going, hey, on this page, he's trying to sell a camera. He's trying to sell a, a product of some kind. That may not be appropriate for other advertisers. So I think that, that if your video is pointing to, to the fact that it might be selling something or linking too many times out to non-YouTube sites and maybe even within YouTube. It might come off as spammy as selling. And I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on that, if that's something you think could or could not be uh, what you're looking at. Ricky Garcia is saying that box looks racist. I, I couldn't agree more. We need to get we need to get somebody on that. Eddie Garrison is saying links. I definitely see links in there. You're absolutely right, my man. That is something that that we should be uh, conscious of. Uh, Dustin is saying profanity has triggered a lot for me. You know, that's probably right. Um, and I think that depending on what your channel's about, uh, they're going to be really careful. They're, they really want, I, I think that they, they really want to create a politically sterile Meaning only they, they I believe that they are trying to eliminate certain types of political speech here um, on YouTube. But I think that they're also really going for like mainstream culture, right? Like they want mainstream culture. So so they, they want to attract Ford and, and bigger dollars from Pampers and from Johnson and Johnson, you know, and these are squeaky clean type companies. They don't want to be uh, uh, affiliated with, with anything. Larry Snow says, does YouTube still has human che have human checkers for any of this? Yeah, they do, guys. So let's talk about that real quickly. I had notes here that I wanted to share with you. Um, Justin's channel, here's how it works. You get a manual review, okay? When you get demonetized, you can request a manual review. Now, when you do that, they will only manually review the video if, uh, it gets a thousand views within seven days time. Okay. And then they'll man manually review it. Now, Justin did submit a manual review uh, for this particular video. So I'm excited to hear what it is they had to say after he requested that. And we're going to get to that in just a quick second. But first, I want to thank my, I want to thank my sponsors over at 
TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is just a fantastic tool to grow your channel. Stop wasting time, guys, on video syndication, on finding tags, on uploading thumbnails, and on all these different parts of the business. Get TubeBuddy today and use the tools at your disposal. You can get a free trial at thevideospot.net slash TubeBuddy. The thing integrates into your channel. And it actually helps you inside your channel. So I want to encourage you guys to go down there and check that out today. Okay, so let's go to one more video, all right? Uh, to Noah saying, I love too, buddy. Air 5, I do too. Okay, and then we're going to come back to some of your questions because I know you guys probably have some questions on this. And I really want to dig into it today because I've been this is all I've been talking about. Want to say uh, uh, what's up to Richard and Sandy and a few others. Fallon watching on Facebook, guys. It's so hard to get to your comments because I'm going back and forth between a couple screens. Uh, but I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're investing time in learning how all of this works. So let's let's take a look at a third and final video. Okay, and this one is actually one of my own videos. And check this out. Uh, this really got you know got got me you know stirred up you know stir fried up check this out so i uploaded a video and i uploaded four videos that came from my podcast okay so four i did a full podcast and i made four micro videos out of the podcast all three of them went through fine but this last one youtube tips how to make more shareable video for the algorithm part four got demonetized it says not suitable for all advertisers, not suitable for all advertisers. I got this little yellow, yellow thing here. And I can request a review right here. So I'm going to show you guys this video. And let's see if we can figure out why it was demonetized. How do you create videos that people will actually share? That's a huge question, and we're going to answer it today in our final wrap-up of our four-part series with Daryl Eves. Don't go anywhere, folks. It's Owen Video. Okay, so we're already 17 seconds in, and really no buzzwords. Everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm Owen Video, bringing you tips that will make you at our final. And it's a pretty straightforward video. Uh, Maybe the intro is a little long. What value are you actually bringing the viewer? And if you can get the value so that and they want to become the hero. Let's take a look uh, at my hey, description box. See, I don't even have a description box yet, but look at this. I do have, look at these guys. I do have some spammy links in here, you know, kind of like to Amazon. And the other ones, the other videos did not, did not have that. So... I'm wondering if this video was demonetized because of my links in the description box. Because this video is still private. It's not even out yet. So that's something to think about. So YouTube's actually giving you time to like pull the video down and have it go back up. What would you guys think? I I'm I'm seeing a lot of co like correlation here between spammy links. Uh, and, um, yeah. Okay. So let me go to your comments here, guys. I see some good conversation happening. Star Wars shirt, eat, trade, travel. Yeah. You're able to pick up on that one. Um, you said share. That's why Dustin, that's what I thought. That was my first thing is that I have shareable videos. I talk about sharing and they may think that this is like trying to game the system yet at the same time, I don't know that that's necessarily frowned upon right to say share like traditionally that hasn't necessarily been something that that youtuber or, or even the regular search engines don't want to see yeah they want you sort of creating shareable content um uh let's see smooth is saying you said share the video to other sites very good very good point big johnson is saying amazon links doug houston is saying links Creator Fundamentals is saying, why wouldn't they just disclose that? I'll tell you why, because they don't even they're not they don't even know what they're doing yet. This is what my belief is, guys, is that they're experimenting with an algorithm that they don't even understand yet, right? They're still trying to figure it out. And I believe what's happening right now is we see Daryl's video um, said had a lot of sale, uh, make money now language. That that type of language has always been frowned upon in internet marketing land. Okay, so I think that 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 was happening in Daryl's video. Uh, I 
I think in Justin's video, you had some links, some outbound links going to some other places. Uh, and then I think in my video, same thing, outbound links and maybe even the use, using the word share. It's it's hard I, I, It's hard to really like boil it down into one issue. But you, you say, why don't they just disclose that? Because it's an algorithm. And they don't want you knowing what the algorithm is, right? They don't, they, they may, today they might be looking for outbound links. But tomorrow they might say, ah, you know, who cares? When I first started learning how to rank video, it was all about you want to have at least two outbound links in your video. Now that sort of changed a little bit, right? Because YouTube has become a bigger thing. So the algorithm's always changing. They don't want you sort of making a plan based on the algorithm. They want, they want you making more content. Larry Snow is saying, is an if an advertiser is a competitor of Amazon, I can see the demonetization. Yeah, if the I think if the if if the advertiser is anybody at all, and you're trying to sell something in your videos, then you might have a problem. As this has been sort of a common thing uh, with video ads, right? With YouTube ads, right? You can't really run a YouTube ad uh, if uh, or or you can't run ads. Uh, in front of videos that are overtly selling, it's hard to get that ad approved or it's hard to get the AdSense approved, right? Demonetization happens. Uh, so you've, you know, you've got to like take that, that that's never really been allowed, right? To make salesy videos and then have advertisers come on top of it. Um, so it seems like YouTube has put in a really, really a big umbrella and they're just, uh, um, you know, they're just demonetizing everything. And that's why they have this huge standard of getting, a th well, it's not a huge standard, but you got to get a thousand views in seven days, which you've got to be at a place where you're, you know, 20,000 subscribers to get that done. Uh, right. And, and they've got to be completely dialed in subscribers. Cause I've got 25 and we hit like, you know, three to 600 within the first week. Uh, alone and and that's that's because of the way we built our channel so not every channel is getting a thousand views in seven days now Justin did okay Justin did Gord is saying AI is messing with humanity uh oh surrendering to a computer no never surrender that's the thing guys we got to keep fighting we have to keep figuring out this filter so that you can't you don't make videos that get um um they get demonetized. Creator Fundamentals is saying Roberto Blake's videos are full of links. Yes, they are. And are they getting demonetized? Um, you know, I don't know. Unless Roberto was to come right out and say, hey, I'm being demonetized, we, we wouldn't know. But that would be, Roberto, if you're watching or if someone tells you about this, that would be a great place uh, for you to come in and, and give uh, some thoughts. Big Johnson Guns and Gear. Uh, great stuff, man. Any links could people send away? Could send people away from YouTube. That's exactly right. Smooth is saying. Smooth is saying. I need twenty thousand subs to figure this out. Uh, it's it, it gets easier with subs, my friend. But let me tell you, you also got to build a channel properly. I got twenty five thousand subs. I'm able to engage a very small percentage of them as on, ongoing because my channel is so wide and focused. You guys have to stay focused on your channels and build an audience uh, that's that's built around your topic, your theme. So that's something to be wary of. Now we just got word from Justin Brown. Okay, guys, we just got word from Justin Brown that his manual review has come in so let's cut to that let's see what he has to say hey justin brown great news after manually reviewing your video we've determined that it is suitable for all advertisers well that is good news guys that is just really good news you know what that means that means that i'm trying to go back to to the to the frame here uh that means that after manually reviewing the video they decide to let it go back up on the web so there is hope there is hope and you guys if you get a video that's demonetized and you know you're not going to get a thousand views in seven days take the video down reframe some of it reframe the description box okay and re-upload it again that is my best advice to you in figuring this out so in wrapping up our video we're gonna go to q a guys uh in wrapping up sort of what i wanted to teach you guys about today is 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 unraveling this demonetization beast okay is avoid using the words like make money sell 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 
try to avoid some of these terms, right? Just be as clean as you can, especially in the first 30 seconds of your video. Watch your outbound links. Try not to have so many outbound links inside your video. And you know what? Even me in my description box, I'm trying to limit you know, my links in general to about three links, you know, just trying to keep it real uh, user friendly and based on that video. Uh, number three thing, three thing to remember here is that I believe that this filter is looking at the entire video. I think they're looking at the captions because they do the auto captions. Uh, even if you don't set them up, YouTube is still auto transcribing that. So I think that they're watching your descriptions. I think that they're looking at your tags and I think that they're looking at your title. And if you pay attention to all of those things, okay, then you have a better chance of not having your video demonetized. So, great to see you guys here. I'm going to go answer your questions. If you've got questions, punch them in the description box. Desmond Soon and, and Steven Zink. Is it Zink? Yeah, Steven Zink. Good to see you watching on Facebook. Glad that you guys are here, and I hope that you will take some time to share this video with anyone in marketing that could benefit from what we're covering here tonight. Let's go back to some of these. Um, uh, Ricky Garcia is saying, my video didn't get 1,000 views, but I submitted a review and had it lifted. Ricky, that's very interesting. I'd love for you to walk us through that uh, a little bit. Dark Matter is saying, I think it would have to do more with your tags than what than that is what the YouTube algorithm follows. College football player Lifer is saying, no videos about violence, no profanity, no controversial subjects. And I still get dinged until a review. It doesn't make sense. You've got to look at context. It's not just overt. It's not just overt language here it's it's contextual language right this is how ai works it starts to make connections it's like creator fundamental said this is in the testing phases they're seeing what works and i think that they know that they're over uh over filtering but they're going to make connections they're going to figure out the videos that have all these links and say these things but also have a collection of other videos that talk about this it's probably an okay channel Right, they're developing. This is new technology for YouTube, and they're implementing it. And some of us are filling the burn. Yuli Armstrong is saying, "I have a lot of links to other YouTube channels in my descriptions. That would be okay, right?" I think that that's better than linking off of YouTube. Absolutely. You know what I'm trying to do is minimize my links in general, shortening my description box to really be the back of the DVD case for the user, right? So that it's really specific to that video and really only one link off of YouTube, and that's to my main my main site, thevideospot.net slash Owen, uh, where they can get, you know, just more information about me. Eddie Garrison is, uh, Giselle is saying, I love and use TubeBuddy. Well, phew, hallelujah for that. Phew. If you guys want to check out TubeBuddy, if you haven't already, then you can go get a free trial today at thevideospot.net slash TubeBuddy. I do get a little bit of a commission. I do, guys, with that with that purchase. And so if you've ever wanted to work with me, but you just can't afford it on a one-to-one -one basis, go down to TubeBuddy. Get your TubeBuddy from my link and help feed my babies. Eat, trade, travel is saying I got whacked in the first month making too much money. Then I made $10. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm seeing it from Jarhead. <coughs> um, Big Johnson Guns, you still with me? Asked a great question about um, targeting gun channels. Yes, YouTube is actively demonetizing and qual and 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 demonetizing gun and ammo videos, guys. Um, you know we you you've got to think about what you're doing. I'm I'm a gun guy. I'm a I'm a Second Amendment liberty kind of guy. Um, and and I feel like with a gun channel, you're gonna be the first to get nabbed, right? Uh, the gun channels get blamed for everything. Uh, any violence that happens, it's a gun channel, it's a gun channel, it's a gun provider, right? It's a hot button issue. So you have got to find ways right now to channel those viewers into your own personal marketing, like an email list, uh, like a Patreon, 
okay? Because you're going to have to find other routes. I think it's going to be a while before uh, gun channels get past that. Now, I did hear at CVX Live a fantastic story about a user who got, um, uh, uh, who, who transitioned from guns into outdoor gear. And I think that that's really wise. I think that that's something that you guys could do and take advantage of. But yes, um, if you're running a gun channel, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. To Noah saying on game channels, I believe they're a little higher on language. I don't know about PG-13 language, but I can still talk about guns and weapons, killing people and genocide, but I'm fine. Well, that's interesting. And, and that, that actually kind of validates what we were saying about AI is it's contextual and they see that you're playing Call of Duty and they recognize, right, um, uh, the words that go over the high frequency words that sort of surround um, all of that. Creator Fundamentals is saying he just did a video on this. Yeah. Beanie Draws is saying they'll probably demonetize you if you reveal any of YouTube's interactions. <laughs> I think you're talking about Daryl. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, but Daryl is a guy of integrity. And, uh, you know, he knows that he's, I know some things he's sworn to secrecy. And he's very good about that. Dustin is saying, question one, live stream. I, one live stream I did was unmonetized. Requested review and was re-monetized, then demonetized again, then re-monetized without a request. Any idea on why it did that? Yeah, I think it's a hiccup in the system, dude. Um, you know, I, I think it's a new system that that they're just kind of like kind of going nuts over there. And we think about YouTube and Google as being like this almighty sort of like fortress of power, never mess up. But in reality, okay, in reality, I, I mean, they're they're bringing this out to billions of viewers. <laughs> so implementing this is a challenge, you know, and, and I think that we're seeing that. We saw this with um, an, the Animal Facts channel, uh, okay, where his his whole channel got taken down. And then, um, you know, he submitted a request, and then within 48 hours, is back up and running again. Uh, we I saw again, too, uh, from one of our, one of our uh, followers out there, uh, the video got tons of views, and those views were eliminated, and then some of the views came back up again. You know, I think YouTube is building up and getting ready for the future, and we're, again, like, we're feeling the pain of that. Uh, we are the ones that are highly active on the platform, so when they do something, when they push, we fill... You know, we feel that domino effect in our channels. Uh, Eddie Garrison is saying algorithm. Not sure they liked that word. That was my first thought, Eddie Garrison. He's talking, of course, about my YouTube video. The problem is, is that I used algorithm in all three of those videos. It's an algorithm playlist, and it's only that third, that fourth one that got demonetized. And I think it has. It was also the only one that went up with um, that particular description box so again i'm seeing that that link between uh, uh you know outbound links beanie draw says youtube might think you're trying to play or manipulate the algorithm i think that there's something to that you know you've got to be careful and i think that's what asking for shares does i don't think it's saying the word algorithm i think it's asking for shares they may not like that and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to make a few more videos guys on a smaller channel you know like a hidden channel we're going to like try some titles and we're going to see which of these titles actually get demonetized uh, Dustin, uh, Doug is saying links. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Dustin is saying, well, every video I have has Amazon, Twitter, and Instagram links, but the only videos I've had demonetized is call of duty. Okay. Let me ask you this, uh, with those links. Okay. Is that, is, is that in your newest videos or was that like recently, uh, or before like a couple weeks ago? Right, because this is sort of a new thing, right? I'm only starting to get demonetized videos right now. You guys are making great comments here. Uh, Alex, what's up, my man? They say YouTube in this new demonetization is pretty bad. Uh, they need to fix it ASAP. I agree. Creator Fundamentals is saying not campy. That half of YouTube is tech reviews. All those products have competitors, right? But they don't all have links, right? In the description box. They don't all have like a collection of videos 
with links out. So I, I you know, I agree with you. You make a great point, Creator Fundamentals, and I'm glad you mentioned it. Uh, but I, I think that there's something there. I think there, there's something we have to look at again as a whole: the title, the description, and the tags, and the links. You know, all of those things I think are are playing together. Mike Esquire is saying, "I tip my hat for you to the subject, sir." Uh, thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Uh, Beanie Draws is saying, you said we have to keep fighting demonetized. <laughs> yeah, because I, you know what? Maybe I did because I said we got to keep fighting. It's possible. Violence. Uh, do you think that YouTube will reverse a lot of these filters? Oh, man. I just missed it. Can you put your YouTube link in the description? All right, sorry guys. Uh, Alex, you're making some great points. Uh, the demonetization is very random, yes, and that's why we went through this video today of three different channels and how uh, they were um, being demonetized. Alex is saying, Alex is saying, one of my videos had no tags and no bad words, no controversial, no selling, nothing, and it was demonetized. Yes, just like my video here. Same. Wait, wrong one. Same flipping thing. Same flipping thing. At least we could say in Justin's video, right? At least in Justin's video, there was there was a sales offer. You know, we could justify that. But I just don't know. I think it's something that we're going to have to dig deep on and we're going to have to like stay together on this and figure out why it's happening. Alex is saying... Uh, Beanie Draws is saying, we are the guinea pigs. Dude, Air 5 for that. Pff, you're absolutely right. Alex is saying, the writing is on the wall. We have to expand, not just to YouTube growth, but Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and your own site. I couldn't agree with you more. And I've got tons of videos on this channel, guys. Go to my channel page and look at my different videos on how to sell with video, um, how to uh, grow on YouTube, uh, how to build an email list, how to build a website, okay? Step-by-step -step stuff. Uh, Mouth TV is saying YouTube will demonetize it if you don't tag it. That is really interesting. Mouth TV, you've been a you've been a a a, a handful of data on this tag. We're glad that you're here. Um, gun channels would really benefit from an email list. Couldn't agree with you more. And Jarhead Six, if you're listening, you know I've been telling you this for a year. You know it. Um, with two, with that, Smooth is saying, with that too, buddy, is it good to use the best time to publish or just publish when you can? No. Okay. Here's the thing, guys, about publish when you can. I believe in publish when you can if you've completely failed on your, you know, publishing schedule, right? Or schedule, as uh, Justin Brown would say. Um, but you have got to pick a time to go live or to upload, right? It's like you're, you're uh, Wednesday at 10. Thursday at 10, you need to pick a day and a time, okay, and stay consistent at that, stay consistent at that time, for me, it's 6 o'clock, now if I can't make that, yes, I upload anyway, yes, I upload anyway, uh, but my goal is always that time, it's not just to upload when I can, but upload at that time, um, so day and time matters, guys, it's just like a TV show, uh, so I hope you guys will, will, um, Pay attention to that. Uh, technology is saying great info. Owen, thank you. Dark Matter is saying it is not prejudice against the gun channels. I don't. I don't think it is. I don't think it is prejudice against the gun channels. I do think there is prejudice against some political um, uh, channels, and I think it's pretty obvious. Um, uh, you know that that's happening. But the gun channels fall under violence. You know because that's how you know the culture warriors see guns, right? Uh, they don't see it as a sporting good, right? And um, and that's just that's just where we are. You know what I mean? So you've got to figure out how to transition your channel or to get involved with Patreon, right? If you're like some of these channels that took a huge cut in your income after this whole uh, ad apocalypse thing, you've got to find other ways out of the rabbit hole, okay? And I want to encourage you to do that. That's what entrepreneurialism is. Is Beanie Draws is saying most tech channels have sponsors. They won't be affected. I do believe that too. I mean the big ones. Um, 
Uh, Mike Palace is saying bots and AR and AI are man-made, so it will take mistakes. Yeah, it will, and that's what it's doing right now. We're the guinea pigs. It's learning. It's learning the context, and um, uh, and that's what it is. Creator Fundamentals is making donuts. Good to see you. Glad you could join us today. Eddie Garrison is saying, "Oh, and this is why you were one of the best in the space. Real world examples. Real world creators. Hey, Air Five to you, Eddie. Thank you so much." Um, uh, Beanie Draws is saying, I hope drawing dinosaurs never becomes controversial. Well, uh, let's just hope, let's just hope that the, the T-Rex, uh, you know, isn't casting votes in the next election. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of dead people cast, uh, votes in the last couple of elections. So, um, Eddie is saying six o'clock, you mean nine o'clock. That's right, guys. If you're enjoying the, the content tonight, whether on Facebook or YouTube, we do our multicast every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I hope that you will join us. Why? Because we go over everything online video. What's working, what's not working, and how you can use it to your advantage. So I hope that you will join us uh, next week and stay in touch with the channel. Jay Garrett is saying, always fun to be a part of the research um, uh, UL Adams is saying YouTube is about to be sued and cut all funding channels. You know, I think that they will be sued. I think there, there are going to be lawsuits and I think that they're going to win them. Um, because that's what big corporations do is they win lawsuits. And then I think what's going to happen is it's the, the AI is going to learn, you, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, is it wrong? Is it wrong to say, look, when they go to court and they say, uh, you know, hey, we don't want um, a a gun, uh, you know, a gun violence or a gang nonprofit advertising in front of a gun channel. Um, I think that that's going to make logical sense. It doesn't make sense to me. I get it. I know that those two audiences are nothing alike. I get it. But but does YouTube get it? I don't think that they do, you know, and so you guys have got to be ready for that. And instead of fighting against it per se, you've got to fight around it, right? Like YouTube is going to win, right? Uh, so, you know, move with where they're going, move into the direction they're going as opposed to fighting the old way. You know what I mean? I think it's going to make you a sharper entrepreneur and a stronger person in general. And after all, if you're running a, a gun channel, I think that you're designed for a little confrontation. I really do. I think that you're the type of person that doesn't necessarily back down from a fight. Well, YouTube is putting the fight on your front door. And if it's whether it's, you know, a gun channel or like AliEx's fishing channel or Ricky Garcia's channel, you know, uh, which I believe is on web design, then then you've got to fight smarter than them, guys. An entrepreneur jumps off the cliff and builds a parachute on the way down. That's what we're doing. All right, so halfway down, the rules change. Guys, you've got to change your parachute and meet them along the way. Green Screen Master is saying, great live stream. I love your videos. Very informational. Technology guru, Owen, what is the thought on links and their relation to demonetization? I think in this stream, we've really kind of covered that, that I think that links play a big role in getting your video demonetized. Dustin is asking, do you think YouTube will remove the ad filter? Yes, I do think YouTube will remove the ad filter. No, the ad filter will get out of its own way. It will get out of its own way, okay? What's gonna happen is it's gonna learn the context. It's gonna stop demonetizing videos and uh, everyone is gonna get back to where we need to be. Gord Eisman is saying, uh, thanks Owen, great topic tonight. Gord, good to see you, can't wait to collaborate with you. Mike Palace, the big $2 to the Super Chat. Thank you so much for that. Beanie Draws is saying, YouTube has been making the marketing decisions for their advertisers. They're deciding what the advertisers will and won't want, but there are advertisers who won't care and are losing out on profit. Beanie Draws, that is the quote of the night, and that's a really good place to end the conversation tonight, guys. It's absolutely true. YouTube is making decisions for us and as and for their advertisers. And because of that, we have to be aware of the system. We have to try not to fight against it, but fight around it because it's unpredictable. It's going to be unpredictable where they go with it. And because of that, you've got to stay flexible. You've got to stay entrepreneurial 
and I'm going to leave you guys with that. Don't forget to join us again next Monday for Monday Night Live where we talk everything online video, what's working and what's not working. You can go to um, thevideospot.net slash KIT, thevideospot.net slash KIT to keep in touch. Remember, the Business of Video podcast is live on Facebook this Wednesday at 9 a.m. We'll see you there, guys. Much love. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.